today on The Hopefulist. You either get better or worse, and it's all in your hands. How much money you need to retire comfortably and a candy ban? Welcome to The Hopefulist, a daily talk show hosted by veteran broadcaster Wendy McClure. Join Wendy each day as she shares her life lessons that transformed her from perpetual pessimist to the ultimate hopefulist. The perfect morning show to get you caught up on the day's top stories while sharing insights that will lead to positive transformation and bring out the hopefulist in you. For more inspiration, visit hopefulist.com. And now, here's your host and hopefulist, Wendy McClure. Good morning. Here it is, Thursday already. I spent most of yesterday thinking it was Thursday, so it's a little disappointing for me to have a second Thursday of the week. But the good news is the Eagles play tonight, a very formidable opponent, so I'm not sure how it's going to go, but I am looking forward to it. It is Thursday, September 26th, 2019, day 14 of Gotta Get On Ellen. Ellen, are you listening? Have you been watching my videos that I'm uploading to Ellen Tube. Tucker and I are ready. We can go whenever you need us to. Three more days until Iron Man. Oh, not me. I'm not doing it. My sister is at the airport now taking her flight to Maryland where she will be participating in and getting her medal as an Iron Man in the next three days. She's got a lot ahead of her. Sunday's going to be a relaxing kind of day, I have a feeling. Um, So we're wishing her a lot of luck, and I am preparing for her visit when I bring her home with me, and I'm very much looking forward uh, to the time that she'll be here and we'll be spending all together. I went to Staples yesterday. I stocked up on adorable notebooks. I strolled around that store for like an hour. And I'm a bit embarrassed by how excited it made me. <laughs> like, looking around, like, look at all this stuff. There are notebooks, there are papers, there are pens. Oh, my. Uh, yeah, it's one of those stores where you're like, I could buy everything in here. It doesn't seem like an office supply store is all that exciting, but yet I was, I was very, very excited. So now I am all stocked up. Uh, for a good long while in the notebook department. Uh, So when I go to see Oprah and when I go to my conference in November, I'm going to be the most adorable note taker you have ever seen because I got the cutest darn notebooks. So I can't wait to start writing in all of them. Got me some new pens. I'm not sure that the pens are going to be working out. I got myself a nice red colored pen because I love red. But they're uh, coming up pretty light compared to my former pen, making it a little difficult to read. It's it's been a little dark since I've been doing this lately uh, with the time not changing yet. Once the time change, it'll be a little more light for a while anyway. Excuse me, until uh, the winter solstice. Oh, gosh, I can't believe we're talking about the winter solstice already. Um, So... Yes, we'll see how the pen works out. I do love me some red ink. I love a good red pen, and it's a nice, smooth pen. Cheap pen, not a big deal. Got me a, got me a bunch of them. Um, so I wanted to tell you about an article I came across today on MSN.com. Uh, you can go there to check out the whole list, but it was a list of states and how much money you will need to Retire comfortably in that state if you were to live to be 100. And the state that I live in, New Jersey, one of they're doing it by order of cheapest to most expensive. Um, I was a little surprised. Pennsylvania popped up about halfway through with a number of 2.15 million to live comfortably until the age of 100. And they're basing that on about 35 years. So working till 65. New Jersey, I believe, was in the top 10 highest, maybe 11 or 12. $2.7 million needed to live comfortably until age 100 in the state of New Jersey. Number one most expensive on the list, I'm sure you can guess. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, nope, 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 yep. 
California was number two, Hawaii number one. You will need approximately $4.5 million to live comfortably to the age of 100 in Hawaii. I just want to go to Hawaii for a week. I don't have any dreams of living there. Maybe someday. You never know, right? You never know. Uh, New York pretty uh, far up that list as well. So if your state was uh, not mentioned, feel free to go to MSN dot com and check out the article the um the article is being featured on their front page today so you know there's a ton of stories that you can scroll through so just keep scrolling through that i'm gonna move on to my topic i saw something on the news website that i follow or the facebook page that i follow and it's a picture of three candy bars And they said, this is the question that is shaking up social media. Here is the question. Of these six candy bars, you have to ban one forever. So which will it be? Your choices are Snickers, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, Kit Kats, Twix, Milky Way, M&M's, plain M&M's. Now here is the way I feel about this. I love all these candy bars. And when I was reading through the comments on the initial post by um, 6ABC, everybody was, you know, kind of hating on Milky Way. And one woman was like, why is everybody hating on Milky Way? I love Milky Way. I said, you know, because Milky Way is basically just a Snickers without the peanuts. And I like Milky Way, but I like Snickers a little bit better. So if I had to ban one, I'm going to ban the one that's, basically got a twin, but a little bit better. When it comes to my choice for this, I'm going to go with the plain M&Ms because I never eat plain M&Ms. However, if they were peanut M&Ms that were pictured, that would be a whole different story. I love peanut M&Ms at Christmas time. Mostly at Christmas time. I can eat them occasionally at the other points of the year, but I used to get them initially, you know, the red and green ones to put in a candy dish in my house. And then I would just, you know, go by, take a couple here, take a couple there. And I just really love me some peanut M&Ms. Now with the plain M&Ms, I used to bake with them, but I have eliminated that portion of my baking from my list at Christmas time because I just don't think that they're that great. I think there's other things that I make that are better. So I'm going to focus on all of the greatness and leave the mediocrity to somebody else. How do you like that? So I love Twix. Could never get rid of Twix. Kit Kats. I love Kit Kats, but they have to be in the freezer. It is one of the only two candy bars I will put in a freezer and love. And I've always put the fun size ones. Like at Halloween, I would get the fun size Twix. And the fun size Hershey bar, plain milk chocolate, no almonds, no nothing, no bells and whistles. Pop those bad boys in the freezer. So, so good. Now, I know people that put like Snickers in the freezer. I don't know how you eat those. You can't even bite into them. I don't like my Reese's peanut butter cup in the freezer either. Um, But I do love me some Reese's peanut butter cups. Uh, I love the Snickers. Like I said, I will take the Milky Way over the plain M&Ms. But if it were peanut M&Ms, sorry, Milky Way, it is time for you to go. So we've got a couple of different responses. Carol and Roxanne both say they would get rid of Twix. Oh, my gosh. I love Twix. Kathy says, I love them all. The candy freak that I am, I would have to say M&Ms since I can get the chocolate from the rest of them. That is a very diplomatic way of looking at it, Kathy. Diane says, get rid of the Milky Way. Dawn says, M&M's, gone forever. Uh, More Milky Way by Carmen. Rosemary says, Snickers. Uh, Lynn says, plain M&M's can go. Linda says, Milky Way. Jody says, definitely the Milky Way. Lauren says, the M&M's. Mandy says, the Twix would be gone. What? Lisa says, Twix, Kit Kat, or Milky Way. She doesn't like any of them wrong with her mary says the reese's oh what how could you live without reese's laurie says i just can't do it 
She just can't pick. I love that answer. Uh, Veronica says Milky Way. Carol Ann says Milky Way. I love me a Snickers and then the rest. Melissa says Twi- Twix or Milky Way. I'm not a fan of either, but don't take any of the others away. Lisa says Snickers because I don't like peanuts. A lot of people have a peanut allergy as well, so maybe that's why you know Milky Way uh, has lasted this long. Adele says from that group, it's a toss-up between Snickers and Twix. I choose Twix. So uh, bye-bye. Oh, she's not feeling any regret about that. Now, Denise says, Milky Way, unless it's Milky Way Dark. I still have a Milky Way Dark, uh, a little teeny tiny miniature one from the candy that we had purchased when we went on our boat parade. Yep, it's still there. Um, I don't like dark chocolate. I do believe that Joe likes that. Uh, But even like with the Snickers, I do like a Snickers almond that I enjoy. Mm, Good stuff. Now I want candy. I was just thinking, since I am going away on a little vacation next week, maybe I will get a bag of peanut M&M's. Actually, we were eating a lot of peanut M&M's when I was visiting my sister last time because it was at Easter. And it was right after Easter, and, you know, she had just gotten, like, a bag of M&M's for the kids' Easter baskets. And I kept ripping into them. (laughs) I'm like, ooh, the one day Rebecca came home, I'm like, Rebecca, I think we all ate your M&M's. Uh, so we went out and got her more and then another batch for ourselves. So, yeah, it hasn't been too terribly long. That was April, so I'm due for some M&M's. I'm due for some peanut M&M's. Get a little bag. Candy's expensive. Did you ever notice how expensive candy is? It's kind of insane. So I'm going to move on to the blog post for today, which is you get better or you get worse. I'm so proud of all my little pictures that I am putting together. I have found that one of the issues with using these really cool pictures is that they're so busy at times that it's hard to see the words you're trying to uh, get across on the picture. Sometimes you can't even notice it at all. So it's been spending a lot of time trying to do the right color combinations Uh, the right fonts, all kinds of things. But this is an adorable little fall-themed picture, and it just makes me want to curl up in a scarf by a roaring fire with a good book. Uh, Pictures like this I really enjoy because it makes me want to work harder toward what I want so I can live the type of life I choose. I want to have more cozy moments like this. And as I continue down my own path in this thing we call life, It occurred to me that we are either getting better or we are getting worse. And either scenario is up to you. I've been focusing on how I had been a pessimist most of my life and how hard I've worked to change that. In order to do that, I had to change my way of thinking. Yes, it felt unnatural at first. Yes, it seemed like a lot of work. I obviously thought it was worth it, and um, yeah, I was absolutely right. I love when I'm right. I am not exaggerating when I say I am at the happiest I've ever been amidst some of the most personal disappointments in my life. Thanks to my change in attitude, I don't let these things get me down. Now, I do let them get me sad from time to time, angry from time to time, and there are times that I feel sorry for myself, but... I have learned how to not wallow in it. I have learned that it's okay to feel the feelings and not get bogged down in them. I am far from perfect. I am not yet at a place where I can forgive people who have hurt me greatly. But I don't let it dictate my daily life. I go about my life in the best way I know possible, and I'm happy. I call that progress. Nobody is perfect, but I'm so far from where I used to be. So I've been referring back to my mother a lot this week. She was obviously a powerful force in my life, and I am very much like her, like it or not. But I got to a point in my life where I wanted to be a happier version of myself, a better version of myself. Actually, that's not true. I wanted to be someone completely different. I didn't like myself at all. I always had issues with my mom, and since I saw so much of myself in her, I had the same issues with myself. But as I started to try to become a happier person, I realized... It's okay to have faults. I realized that those traits that I deemed bad weren't always bad, 
It was all in the way I used them. 